Of course, Gamecock football is a sure sign fall has arrived. But it was another arrival that faculty, staff, and administrators at the University of South Carolina were anticipating. In the middle of August, more than 7,000 students moved into their dorm rooms. 3,700 of these students are at Carolina for the first time. It's a freshman class whose impact is already being felt on campus. The class of 2011 has an average SAT score of 1183, the highest in university history. And in fact, for the fifth year in a row, the average SAT score has gone up. Carolina is now a destination of choice for young people. The people, oh, everyone was so friendly and the environment was so nice. I love the green. I love warm weather. That's why I wanted to come down south. And so, and the academics are just amazing. And there's so many resources here. So that's why I chose USC. I chose South Carolina over other universities because of the International Business School. I'd really like to do that. And just the diversity of the campus and all the things you can do. The SAT numbers are even more impressive for the academically gifted students who belong to the Capstone, Honors College, Carolina Scholars, Alumni Scholars, and McNair Scholars. The students who arrive on campus might be the brightest ever, but we're making sure that students leave in four years with a diploma. We realize that there is a big transition from high school to college. That's why the University of South Carolina is leading the nation in helping students. We've created the Student Success Center that allows students to get help before they fall behind. Upperclassmen lead tutoring sessions on some of the more difficult courses. This might be an asset. asset. Um, our first goal is to um, assist our students in having uh, a solid academic foundation at USC. Our institutional data indicate that the best predictor of whether or not a student will actually graduate from USC is how well they did academically their first year in college. And the university recognizes that college can be especially difficult on the student athlete. That's why the athletics department recently cut the ribbon on an academic center. And this is another sign, I believe, uh, that the University of South Carolina, we want our facilities to be at a level of all the other top schools in the SEC. The need for top facilities in the SEC is why the Athletics Department has also unveiled a master plan that includes its own academic center and a $36 million riverfront baseball stadium. And we all want to compete at the highest level. And the sports program can make it easier for a young person to decide where to go to school. So I'm glad to see that we're on that track of um, upgrading our facilities and, and kind of really creating an athletic community with this horseshoe idea. I think that's going to really help our recruiting and really help our, our performances both on the field and in the classroom. The university is committed to attracting the top talent and increasing academic quality, as well as improving access to higher education. Carolina is partnering with all of the state's technical colleges in the Bridge Program. That allows young people who might otherwise not get into Carolina the chance to spend their early college careers at one of the state's technical schools and then successfully transition to South Carolina. We are coming together in partnership with with a great university in our own state that, that has national credibility. We want to make the transition to the University of South Carolina absolutely seamless and ensure that students are fully prepared to succeed academically and to take advantage of every opportunity that our university offers. The University of South Carolina recently announced the Gamecock Guarantee, the first need-based scholarship program of its kind for any university in South Carolina. We want these students to know that the cost of tuition should not deter them from pursuing a Carolina degree. Under the Gamecock Guarantee, eligible students will have four years of tuition and technology fees paid for. The academic and research momentum continues with the building of InnoVista. This innovative district combines a powerful public-private partnership and features live, learn, work, play design. InnoVista researchers will focus on alternative energy, health sciences, nano and information technologies that will help transform South Carolina. This year, the university is home to a record $185 million in research funding on a number of topics including geography, psychology, and health. This increase in research dollars comes at a time when the competition for federal research dollars has become fierce. In fact, the total dollar amount of research at Carolina has grown by $76 million, 
up 70% in the past five years. And those numbers don't include recent funding for a $10.7 million study to look at ways to prevent colon cancer. Which kills 56,000 Americans every year, kills uh, almost 900 South Carolinians. So it's a serious, serious disease which is very preventable. The increase in research dollars helps support innovative programs like the university's Faculty Excellence Initiative and Centenary Program, which are bringing in several hundred talented new faculty members to South Carolina. Being part of a rising star among universities is what's attracting some of the best faculty and academic leaders to Columbia. I chose the University of South Carolina because of the vision. The vision is of Dr. Sorensen's to be a world-class institution. And in that, in that regard, world-class institutions are, are great in all of our areas, education, research, and in my special case, being the dean of the School of Medicine, clinical care. I think that we have a wonderful opportunity to grow and to grow and, bring, and be a magnet and bring national, nationally known researchers and educators to campus, and I'd like to be part of that vision. It was a big decision for me to come to South Carolina, a significant decision given that I'm originally from the Pacific Northwest and then having done my graduate studies in Austin, Texas. Um, but I was very encouraged uh, to see that the university had in place an institutional mechanism for providing internal funding for faculty um, to be able to jumpstart their research and eventually seek funding outside the university. I chose to join uh, the University of South Carolina and the Moore School of Business in particular because of the expertise uh, in international business and the world-class standing. And the reality is, is that the faculty and the students are performing well across the board in the business school. And I was excited about being part of getting that message out to the rest of the world. Recruiting the best to South Carolina will help improve the lives of not only our South Carolina community, but also our global community. The University of South Carolina's great momentum will serve as a catalyst to make that happen. Take it from the old ball coach. Don't listen if someone says we can't be champions. That's like telling a great bird it can't fly. Believe and achieve. Gamecocks on three. One, two, three. Gamecocks. Gamecocks.